Welcome back to Tie One On with John. Today we're going to introduce the AFS Intruder Starter Kit. And in this kit, we have enough materials to tie 10 intruders in a variety of colors and styles. In this kit, we have hook shanks, hooks for your trailing wire, trailing wire, dazzle eyes, several colors of dubbing. Marabou, ostrich, and some flash. Uh, and let's not forget the tinsel. So here we go. We're going to tie our first AFS intruder. All right, so here we go. AFS intruder. We've got our Senyo intruder shank in the vise. I'm going to apply the thread. I'm going to work that up to the front. We're going to spin it upside down. So I'm going to put the lead eyes on first. So I'm going to create a little cradle for these lead eyes. They're actually dazzle eyes. I'll secure those guys in there. Now we put the, the eyes on the underside of the fly, that way the fly orients itself properly when it's fishing. And there we go. Step two is our intruder wire. So I'm going to do a couple loose wraps, get it in the vise, and then I need to leave enough here in the back so when I put on my stinger hook, I can get it on there. You can put it on ahead of time, but what I find is I end up poking myself with the, the trailing hook. So I leave about finger width, it's about the length of the hook. What I like to do is take these wire ends around our dazzle eyes. A little add security, like that. And then because this is wire, you need some kind of wire cutter. And I'm just going to work right back down to where we're going to start putting materials on here. Okay, so our first material is ice dub, and I'm going to create a little dubbing loop. So I've got my dubbing ready. It could kind of run wild sometimes, but you just got to get it in your dubbing loop. And if you've never done a dubbing loop, you can just twist it around the thread. We're not going to make a super tight package here. We're going to keep it kind of loose, let it run wild a little bit. Intruders are two part flies. They have really two stations, a rear station and a forward station. And so we've got to do the rear station first. And so we're just trying to build up a little dubbing bowl here to support our materials that are going to be in the rear. So this is our first step here. That secured, cut that off. All right. Next step, a little schloppen. We're going to make a little schloppen, call it a collar back here. Tied in like any hackle. We're 
going to utilize this black schloppen in this intruder kit. Okay, we got that secured. Now with, with this big fly thread that we use, which comes in the kit, because it's so heavy, which is great, you can put a lot of pressure on it. You don't have to do as many wraps to secure your material. Our next material is ostrich, and I've got about six or eight pieces here. And we just want this to go right about to where the end of our stinger hook would go. Okay. I like to kind of get it wet. These things can get a little out of control. So I, I get it wet, get it in a little clump. Makes it a little easier to tie in. Just like that. So for the body, we're going to use this pearlescent tinsel. So I'm going to get that secured, and we're going to run this down there about three quarters of an inch. I want to make sure my thread is tapered that so when I run this tinsel down, it looks fairly even. And really the job of this is just to give the fly a little bit of glow, a little internal glow. And when you wrap this, you can actually put a fair bit of pressure on it, get it nice and tight. You can see the reflective qualities as it goes on. And it kind of absorbs whatever light colors are out there whether you do your fly in blue or pink or chartreuse, black. Now one added step I will do to this, I'll use this Loon Clear UV Fly. And this comes in a couple different. This gives me a little added security and this stuff Get that on there. I kind of spread it around a little bit, like so. Then I take my little UV lamp, and this stuff cures in 15 seconds. So I just do a slow little rotation here, get it cured up. That just adds to the durability of our fly. And if you don't have the flashlight, the UV flashlight, you can put it out in the sun, but um, since it's part of the fly, um, you can skip that part if you don't have the light. Uh, but it's nice for a little added security. So our next step is we're going to do the front portion. Our rear portion is done. Now we're going to do the front portion. And in the kit, you have these Enrico Puglisi slash... Senyo brushes. And basically what a brush is, it's um, several different fibers and materials that are twisted in a wire brush, as they call it. <clears throat> and this just uh, makes it real handy to put on a little support system. Now I could have done this in the rear as well. You could have, you can do this up front or in the rear or both. And this kit comes with three different brushes. You've got blue, you've got black, and you've got pink. And with a combination of blue, black, pink, and chartreuse ice dub, you've got endless possibilities of colors for this fly. Okay, now I'll just kind of pull this up, clip it off with my wire cutters. Like so.
There we go. Third time's a charm. See how nice and bushy that is? That's going to hold our front materials. It's going to keep them nice and flared out. So next we're going to do marabou. Now we don't want a ton of marabou. The marabou is just to give it a little bit of veil. So we don't want to put too much in here. About an inch worth going from here to here. So I'm going to tie the tip in first. I'm just doing two wraps and then one in front, maybe a second one. And with this big fly thread, that's all you need to secure this guy. I like to get my fingers wet and as I kind of wrap this around, I just pull the material back like so. Couple wraps there. Couple on the front. Trim it off. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna look good. That's just the right amount. Just the right amount. Next material is more ostrich. Got about six to eight strands here that I had ready to go. I'm just gonna lay that the length of the marabou, okay? Right on top. And one reason we've got a little extra black ostrich here is I like contrast in a fly. Flies that are one solid color, um, they seem one dimensional to me. You add a little contrast, I think it's going to fish better in different conditions in low light, bright days. Okay, now we're going to take our crystal flash and run that right over the top of this black ostrich. I got about four strands. So I'm going to tie in favoring my side. Let's do two wraps and then I'm going to pull it back and, and then favoring your side. So total I've got about six strands. Get that secured. Okay, I want that to run right to the end of that ostrich, just like that. And once we finish the fly, we're gonna we're gonna tweak these strands a little bit just to get them exactly where we want them. But in general, we want them kind of running over the top. It's it kind of suggests a shell back. And flash is good. In fly, it reflects light. Well, we're almost on our last step. A little black ice dub which is in your kit. Just gonna do a little dub around the collar of the fly. Just like that and then I'm gonna work the thread to the front of the hook where the eye is and we're done. A quick half hitch to finish. Whip finish if you please. Apply your head cement and you've got a finished AFS intruder. Well here's our finished AFS intruder. Now one little variation we can do is with a Sharpie, which you might have at home, you can add a little variegation to the fly, adds to the bugginess. Stay tuned for our next episode where we're going to tie the second variation of the AFS Intruder, which we're going to call the Skinny Classic. See you then.